exactly who hired Elsa. I think that the most popular choice is Roswell. Who else would have all these different insider information about the mansion? Such specific targets, even giving instructions to the point where Elsa says, Hmm, you arrived early this time. Seems very, very suspicious to me. It has to be Roswell. And then I thought about myself, right? The two logical inconsistencies is Arc 1. In the beginning, did Roswell hire Elsa to steal the dragon pendant from Amelia such that Subaru would then find and save her? And that seems like a fucking reach. He doesn't even know Subaru at that point, so that's a logical inconsistency there. Unless Roswell is the one that summoned Subaru. And then one has to ask, what the, how the fuck did he even know about Subaru? Through Satala? Is he talking about- I don't fucking know. But in this specific example, I think it makes sense. I made the question of, what is the point of hiring Elsa and creating this extra layer of challenge for Subaru to overcome? Is it to build character? No. It's about the time constraint. When watching the Annie News Cut video, I realized that we might end up staying here for three years. Ram specifically said, listen, <laughs> I, the royal selection is going to be over in three years. I hope we get out by then. So I thought, hmm, by now having a ticking time bomb with Elsa going to the mansion and potentially killing people, Subaru now has to figure out a way to clear the trial as fast as possible so that he can also take care of the mansion stuff. It creates this obstacle for Roswell's to force Subaru to figure this out quickly, which I think does make sense. On the other topic of who or why did the like why did the other huge um guilty low uh, uh what's the, what's it called chimera maju show up so the only hint right now is someone's controlling that maju because no other majus are appear like uh present like this is a huge beast that hides deep in the forest but like no other majus are here meaning it's not just simply attracted to subaru's miasma someone is controlling who do we know can control the bald shaman dog but the bald shaman dog is dead but we learned something new in the cut content the bald spot is actually where the horn used to be for a maju if you cut the horn of a maju off you control that that's why i believe the purple haired girl that elsa referred to as melee perhaps is the same girl from arc 2 that broke the barrier and then mysteriously disappeared but here's the best part where everything folds the Guilty Low has both horns intact. <laughs> so it's not like she's controlling him that way. I, that, that's where every, that's where my theory goes off the track. So I think that I have answers and then I realize the fucking flaws in my logic. And here we are. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Vehicle. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I'm dead. Biko can tell when people die in the mansion, I guess, even though she's still here. Okay. Healing? Healing? Oh, Aw, thanks, Betty. <laughs> I thought she might end up actually punching Biko in the face there for a second. <laughs> Subaru, calm down. But how could he calm down? Everyone just fucking died. We need to ask the question right now. Roswell sent me to ask you the question. I know in this timeline, Roswell didn't tell us, but we still have that info. We should fucking ask right now. True. Why doesn't Biko go out and save everyone herself? She is very powerful. That I don't know. I know that she has a contract to, like, stay here and, like, protect the hidden library, but, like, because going out and dying, potentially, would then not protect the hidden library, therefore this is a bigger priority at the end of the day? That's cold, Betty. Betty, memory snow! What the snowman's giving me? Oh, what the was that? That was interesting. Who asked you to save me? Subaru cries out in rage. Biko has a shocking reaction and then shakes it off. Because this is familiar to something she's experienced before in the past or something specific about this. Subaru is shocking her because he's so mad. I, I don't know, but that was very interesting. 
自分が何したか分かってるのかお前のせいで何もかも台無しになるかもしれねえんだぞ台無今が確定してお前は俺を殺すべきだ The fear of a new checkpoint being made right now I don't, I don't understand either. <laughs> no, Betty's tea set. How could you kick Betty's tea table? <laughs> Eko doesn't want you to die in front. <laughs> like, the last time when uh, Amelia died, remember in Arc 1? I think in Arc 3, right? Sorry, Arc 3. Biko didn't want to see Subaru die in front of her and sent him out the gates, but there's something very interesting going on here with Biko, huh? I don't want to let you, I suppose. Doesn't want Subaru to die, because like, we need to kill ourselves immediately to make sure the checkpoint isn't made. Biko cannot let that happen. Not the checkpoint thing, but Subaru dying in front of her, because too many people have died in the past and left her. Kind of like how the connection with Juice, remember? It was like, Juice. You've left me too, therefore Subaru is kind of the same kin. His <laughs> gospel? His gospel? Not his gospel. The Maiden's gospel last episode. The Maiden was literally Biko. <laughs> Why would she have a gospel though? Why does Biko have one bro? I thought this shit for archbishops. It's <laughs> <laughs> very precious to her. She smiles. Not the same book. It looks like the gospel's cover though. It, it is one. Can I command you to answer? What's it telling you to do? It's what do we know about the gospel? Based on Betrugus's dialogue, it sounded like just like scripts, detailed like steps to follow for the day of the ordeal to come true. Betrugus was checking it to make sure Natsuki Subaru. My gospel has no account of you in here. Hmm, this event was not supposed to happen. These are things that Betrugu said. But is every gospel the same? Is every gospel different? Like, what the fuck is Biko's gospel? What? Are you not allowed to do anything that's not in the book? That question isn't in the book either, I suppose. What's written in that book? She's bound by the gospel? It sounds like? Apparently, she's limited by the gospel. All these answers she can't answer. Why did you see me from the death board? She can't answer it. None of it. Why is it so fucking secretive? The gospel's guidance. Everyone's, well, I can't say everyone, but we have two gospels so far that seems to be guiding the reader, the owner, to do these things. And they can't really go against it? Getting way too fucking heavy. But that line of don't you like that line of like you didn't move your my heart alone, I think that's a fucking lie. No. Memory snow at the end, Biko's sadness being confronted by Rosball. No no no. I think Subaru definitely has moved Biko. But 
the dialogue here is so fucking interesting because she's been guided by the gospel. Everything, every action was literally according to the fucking gospel. <laughs> Cope. Mother. Who the fuck is mother? We know that Puck is like Nichan. Puck and Beiko are both spirits. How are spirits even fucking birthed into the world? And Beiko is 400 years old. 400 is a very important number for a lot of the events that happened in ReZero. 400 years ago is when Satala also ravaged the world and killed the witches. Echidna died 400 years ago. The white whale was created 400 years ago. Mother? Who the fuck is mother? I know I'm a human. Man, you be so distant and cold this season, vehicle. What the fuck? It, the whole human Ningen Ningen part. It does feel genuine, but like, you know, we're not, I, I don't know exactly what happened with Betty and humans in the past. Seems like she's very like, not good with it. So I don't know. Something's happened. Why would she have a gospel though? The only thing that we know about gospels is the cult. Archbishops have gospels. Is Betty <laughs> an old ex fucking archbishops? Like what is happening here? <laughs> Okay, that was funny out of nowhere. <laughs> it just that fucking get Betty taking the fucking the broken shard of the fucking glass, and this scene is funny for no fucking reason. Arc two. Elsa, Elsa can also enter here? What the fuck? I thought we were saving the hidden library. What the fuck is Elsa? How? Th I guess at some point, if you've opened up every door, then only one door is left. Would it be the hidden library? <laughs> Look at that angle, bro. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I'm, that's why I'm so happy she's still alive, bro. Oh, one more time. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> We couldn't even ask Biaku about that question. Roswell sent me to ask the question. We were too caught up in all the fucking tragic deaths, obviously, right? He's probably like, I don't know. It's maybe it's too much to ask him to have the presence of mind to like calm down and like think about that question because everything right now is fucking crazy. Biaku's revelation with the gospel is insane. I probably couldn't have fucking remembered that shit. But Biaku, like, her inaction is very interesting. Everything that she did. In this scene, like she prevented Subaru from dying. But also that might be just according to what the gospel is wishing. The gospel has a guide. And Betty seems to not be able to go against the words of the gospel. What? Like, but the gospel literally would detail that shit about Subaru. Like what the fuck is the gospel? Who made this gospel? Who the fuck is your mom? There are so many questions right now. And just when I thought that we were going to get the answers, I'm riddled with even more fucking questions. <laughs> Thank fucking God the checkpoint wasn't, you know, after everyone died. That would be fucking terrible. But now what do we do? And the plan right now might be still to get Patrash and get the fuck out of here and get to the mansion as fast as possible to make sure that Elsa hasn't gotten here yet. At least we could do that one check, right? She might still be early. And if that's the case, then... Maybe it's too late to try to be early. At this point, what do we do? We need some powerful friends. We always, the answer is always powerful friends to help beat Elsa. If we could like, but like, 
The answer is clear the fucking sanctuary and then bring Garfield and like other people here to go fight Elsa. But until we clear this, everything is hinged on fucking Amelia bro skill issue. Because if we can't do that, then like what do we do, you know? Maybe we could go out and try to ask other people outside of the sanctuary and then group some, you know, get some forces and then get to the mansion in time. I don't know. This is, again, this time constraint created by Roswell, most likely by Roswell, is really fucking us, man. Reinhardt? Reinhardt never showing up, bro. Reinhardt literally showed up for fucking two episodes and fucked off. <laughs> Reinhardt literally peaked in episode three and then has not shown out <laughs> for like 50 plus episodes of reason. Fuck this guy, bro. Okay, we're still good. Thank God it didn't fucking change. Emilia! Emilia! Here we go again. Nothing's gonna change, bro. And that's the fucked up thing. Like, what are we supposed to do about Amelia? This sanctuary trial, we can't do anything for her. And if we overcome it ourselves, then it defeats the purpose of this because Amelia needs to fucking overcome it. Roswell wants Amelia to do it and Amelia to gain that confidence and also win the villagers hearts over. But like, fuck, we just wait? We just keep looping over and over and hope that at one, one time RNG that she just fucking gets good? Like, I think this is Garfield drinking the leaf tea, right? We're basically um, speeding up the meeting shit that was looped, and then Garfield drinking the grass tea from Ram. <laughs> okay. Ryuzu is very perceptible about Subaru right now. I'm surprised. Subaru is being this patient with Amelia. I was half expecting Subaru to like snap and get so mad at Amelia for not being able to clear it and like just like lash out on her. After all the character deaths we've had past loop, like <laughs> I wonder what's behind this smile right now. Like part of me wants him to just fucking pop off just for one loop. Emilia, <laughs> you have a debt you could never pay for. <laughs> Poor Amelia. <laughs> What's up, Otto? We're not good. Liar. Ryuzu seems to notice something with Subaru, though, right? Ryuzu was giving some sus looks at Subaru during the whole meeting thing, so maybe she's figured something out. Up here. Yeah. It's an act. It's an act. Oh, that's actually some good thinking right there. Honestly, true. I am pretty surprised that Subaru is this calm. Even if he is acting a bit, thinking rationally, I thought that he would start to tilt and go through some shit like an arc 3 beginning. Or this could be him being numb to the death. I'm not sure. I'm still kind of... Part of me kind of wants him to become... Well, the half the fun is the psychological trauma of Subaru so that he doesn't abuse regression over and over, you know? And that's why not being numb to it has been fun in season one, but there's a part of me that wants him to be so cold and ruthless to be able to just slit a throat and just start a new run and just try to... I don't know, just metagame everything. <laughs> One more talk? Garfield. <laughs> Last time. Like, Subaru can say this shit to other people and they won't know. But if you say this shit to Roswell, oh. This time. Last time. Tell me more, my boy. True. 
<laughs> Ram does glaze Roswell so much, but I don't think it's really love. It's about like the respect because Roswell takes care of Ram and mends to her horn shit, right? Alright. Oto is never getting a chance to talk, talk with Roswell at this rate. Hmm? Where are you going? Dude, there is something off about Garfield. Again, Garfield does some weird shit. Everyone else seems to have like a specific pattern of behavior that they follow in each loop. This is the third iterate, iteration where Garfield does something different. First time, he was fine with Amelia. You know, being bailed out by Subaru. Second time, he was hostile about that shit and was like, no, no, you must do it. This time, he showed up this early and now he's taking us somewhere. Like, I, I'm not sure if it's the bipolar shit. There's something special about Garfield. Something that's just like making him act out when everyone else seems to act the same in each loop. He's regressing? Oh shit, the Roswell theory is false now, bro. Garfield's a true regressor along with Subaru. Oh my god. お前さ、来てないんだ。なんでそんなこと。てめえに話すかだけだ。あいつはこっから出てったんだ。もう関係ねえんだ。もう分かってる。だったら触れてるかも根血で条件は同じ。いや、なのにな。Exactly. <笑> How the fuck the Federica leave the sanctuary and get to the mansion? She is also half blood. I think we talked about a couple options in those um analysis videos. What would we say? Um, option one, Frederica was actually never in the sanctuary, therefore there was no need to go through the barrier. Option two, there is someone with admin privileges to the barrier that allows Frederica to pass through despite her being mixed blood. Option three, do we have an option three? No, I think it was pretty much those two. Either she lied about coming from the sanctuary or someone has barrier privileges. Oh, option three was uh, the teleportation. Now. The teleport is kind of odd because it's been mentioned in the anime, but that's the event of when Subaru went in, right, with Amelia. Amelia's necklace started to glow. Subaru took that shit off. Then we lose consciousness, then we appear in front of the ruin. We can't confirm that was a teleportation, but assuming that it was, maybe there's similar mechanics of how Frederica could surpass the barrier. <laughs> And it's not like someone could have cleared the trial before and then the barrier will be gone forever, right? It's not like Frederica herself cleared the fucking trials and then got past the barrier and then a new barrier was set. I don't think that's possible, is it? Okay, where are we at? Where are we going? I'm getting scared. Oh. Loli Baba, do you drip?俺に用があったのはリューズさんかなわいよ。ガボは私の付き添いじゃない。恋の場所そんな場所に招待されるなんて来る機会も近いか。調子のいいことを言いよりズさんは答えてくれるか。触れでいいじゃん。ハウ。
makes me realize that. Oh shit, we we are gonna be chilling here for the fucking longest time. And Mila's gonna take her sweet ass fucking time. How many more episodes, bro? Like fifteen more episodes till she clears. Baba, it's the area. Godzi Godzi I I think it's one of the Garf's uh, local uh, sayings that we are not familiar with. Thank you. Thank you. How does she do it? What? But she's half blood. She's mixed blood, right? Garfield's sister. Unless that was a lie? And she's actually pure blood? What do you mean? There's something else. Amount of each race. Oh, it's not equal though. Off ratio. Oh, that means different dads, yeah. Hold the fuck up. So... They're not complete siblings, but different dads. Siblings from a different, a same mom, different dad. Oh, that's pretty big. That's pretty big brain. How could I have, like, here's the thing, right? How could I have possibly thought about this scenario? Because once again, the problem is when I have received information from ReZero, because I take it as a fact, I am stuck within the confinements of that box. We are stuck and limited. Now I can only think of ways that has nothing to do with the Half-Blood and has like teleportation, does someone lift a barrier up? But if I were to then always assume that the information given to me could be wrong, then I could have interpreted that as, oh shit, maybe it's not just, you know, there's, it's Half-Blood, but it, maybe it's actually not Half-Blood. Maybe there's like a 50-50 ratio. And then maybe I could have somehow thought about different that, and that's too much. That's really hard to like, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's really interesting to see like, how could you possibly theorize? What is the logic and the building blocks to get to this point? It can only be done if you never take what's given to you as a fucking fact and try to think outside the box. Bauman. There it is. Got it. <laughs> that seems to be the main conflict with the siblings, huh? It's like, I don't know exactly what it is. I think that Frederica loves Garfield, but the way that Garfield talks about Frederica sounds like he's been abandoned, like he's been betrayed. Like, if you're actually my family, you would have visited me, but you fucking left me, and I feel... Sad about it, I think. ふっ。さあ。うん。実は俺から提案がある。オー。提案とな。ま、これから了解を取るんだが。オッケー。次へ出しないでくれと。<笑> なんなりと話すがいい。試練はエミリアの代わりにお礼が受ける。助けに墓所に入った時。僕は。それはあれで。よっ。さらに言えば、試練を突破したからだ。よっ。試練を超えた。1 Okay. Are we just gonna die here? What the fuck are you doing? What? 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 What the fuck? No. We're not even dead. Here's a fucking nightmare scenario. The only way that we can loop, yeah, the last name I think changed. The drip was also different. So the Ryuzu, I'm like, why do you have the white jacket? She has the same voice actor, but something is off. Different last names, different jackets. But okay, think about this, right? A scenario where you cannot die. You're just taken hostage. And imagine in the future, 
And maybe this is the future where a checkpoint is made without you being able to force reset because you've been taken hostage without being able to kill yourself. That is fucking nightmare material. What the fuck, Garfield? <laughs> Yeah, I try it too. I don't know. It's just the absurdity of how he don't don't try crying for help. No one's gonna help you. Cries anyways. Well, shit. Ain't no need to save someone who wants to die, right? Because Subaru wants to die to a loop. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, okay. We have another person that can detect miasma. This is very specific. This show has been very specific in who can actually detect the miasma. We have Rem. Rem can. I'm not so sure Ram or Roswell can. I don't know. But Rem has made explicit comments. Biko can. Biko can. Right? I'm also assuming Betrugius and other archbishops can. And same with cult members. Because the regular cult members bow to Subaru, which I'm assuming is based on the miasma. I'm also assuming Betrugius can because of he makes explicit comments about you are loved with the witch scent, right? I'm not sure if Puck can. Has Puck ever mentioned it? But I'm willing to assume that Puck can because if Biaku can and Puck is also bored, they're both spirits. Like, maybe. They're siblings or some shit, right? And besides that, I'm not sure. I'm sure maybe, like, Echidna can. I, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. But, like, the show has been very intent on, like, exactly who can smell it. Not everyone can. I thought that everyone could, but it's just like, no, nah, man. Very specific people, he can smell it right now. Mm. So, like, to Garfield, right? Because, like, think about this. Before he went in, he wasn't looping, 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 so the miasma wasn't stacking. But in this time, he's died multiple times, and every time, the checkpoint has been the same graveyard therefore every time we came out garfield notices that subaru smells more stronger over and over again right therefore therefore this is the reason why he was like what's the word changing the different timelines right in every loop he was like changing behaviors because of subaru's miasma very interesting <laughs> I don't even blame Garfield necessarily. If you came back from the witch's graveyard and you, a person, just has the qualifications, you clear the trial, it is extremely, extremely suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Okay, here it is. I don't want it to have a blow up in my face like follow the Tesla fortress. Is this the same fortress that was mentioned in the Valachian Empire? When Archbishop of Greed, Regulus, was sent to take down the place due to the rise of a different witch other than Satala, the witch's media creating clout for that other witch. Different. Is it the same? Not the same. Okay, I don't know what the context of Tesla Fortress is then. Oh, I tried to bite his tongue there. He tried to bite his tongue there, bro. I saw that. <laughs> Your eyes just looks like that Rosal bastard's eyes. Remember the Rosal theory I made? Just with the Easter egg stuff? How like Roswell and Subaru are one? There's a crazy theory that people think that Roswell is Subaru. 
like like beyond not not just the regression stuff. People think that Roswell L. Mathers is actually a Subaru from like a different fucking timeline that's way older and is now I don't know that I, I've heard of that theory and I'm like what the fuck? No, I don't think so. I think that but this line is very interesting. <laughs> They're all looking for Ram's clairvoyance. One second. I gotta take a piss. Today's episode has been super fucking sweaty. I need to, I need to, I can't be like anxious in order to think properly. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Let's lock in. Otto, please save us. Puck's a deadbeat. Yo, Otto, save us. Otto! Huh? <laughs> did he just bribe him with money? <laughs> did, did he straight up just bribe him <laughs> with a special rock? Yeah, if you stay quiet, very important jewel for you. Okay. Otto baited with the money. He ain't gonna find us. I know who's gonna save us. Ia. Ia, are you around? Did Julius take Ia back? Ia would come in so clutch right now. Who could save us? Patrash. No. If we could, on command, meet Satala in the Shadow Garden without saying, I can return by death, that would be so useful right now. Like, without having to say, we can just like think, like, Satala, please come meet me right now if she would show up. That would be so powerful. Uh, how about, can we use Shamak right now? The idea is to exhaust her mana to the point that we die. I know his mouth is bind and he can't say Shamak, but if he could, could he not like use up all his mana and then die that way to like, you know, instead of biting your tongue off? <laughs> I believe so, yes, but the comment made about do you think that you could have really moved my heart? I think that's cap. I think Biko is coping at that moment and is directly implied in Memory Snow at the end. I truly believe Natsuki Subaru has moved Biko's heart even if he was simply following instructions and helping us out. Biko. <laughs> It's so dark, I can't see shit. Oh, wait, we can see now. We can see now. I see feet. Rizu. Beating us? Bite your tongue, bro. Bite your tongue. Bite your tongue. Too late. Ram, Frederica. Last one. Don't give up, Natsuki. Oh, yeah. Season one stuff. Every failed attempt. We tried doing this in episode 15, I think, when Subaru was- I'm not sure if he was trying to do that, but when Betrugus left, he was smashing his head against the ground when Rem was, you know, about to show up. Oof. Yo, Satala, help us out right now. Crush my heart, please. What steps? What steps? <laughs> Otto took the bag and got Subaru, bro. This greedy motherfucker. I love it. Clutch. Clutch. Yo. Five days was the limit, right? Oh, shit. Yeah? Is it time to get a 3-0 record for the trial? It's like, you have a plan? What's the, what's the plan? Okay, this is better than before. She's gonna try something different. Mm. That's not good. 
見送られたほどです。She's busy looking for him. She's busy looking for him. How did you find him? Oto? Oto probably used his blessing of the soul of the language, and probably other creatures and different things saw Garfield bringing Subaru here. That's my guess on how Oto found Subaru here. Rosal made a formal oath. So she is literally 04 right now. Like, this is not the third trial. She's already tried twice and she's already fucked up. Huh? She, she can hear power, the powers. OP power. うん。当然疑いません。よ。そしたら彼は引きしていれば危害は加えないとね。オッケー。見返りだと。あのに、それ断ったのは。で、リターンイットダウン。それでか。ああ、リターンイットダウン。あ、I Yo, Oto is straight up clutching. What I say? They've been intentionally benching Oto the last couple episodes. He's just doing nothing, bro. Finally, he steps up, clutches like that. Let's go. Does he care about you? Yo, fuck Rem. Fuck Amelia. Our emotional pillar of support is Oto, and we don't need anyone else. Hmm. You don't trust him? Aww, friends! Close buddies, bro. Because I guess Subaru never... Subaru never anticipated Oto to, like, be a friend. I, really? I don't really know. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Oto has a gospel. The gospel told him to do this shit. That, that's you. Man, based on the way that Subaru and Oto has been interacting, especially in the break times as well, it always felt like Subaru was being way too friendly to Oto and just kind of already just like... like because they barely know each other in the beginning, but he's like, oh, you finally showed up. And ever since then, he's been just kind of just running him like just over and just bringing him in. But I thought that he actually saw him as a friend. But I guess until now, there was no deep relationship. It's just like, I'm just kind of using you and I'm acting friendly. But it's a realization that, oh, you saw me as a friend? That's cold, bro. I guess it's hard to believe when everyone's betrayed him. Mm -hmm. the oil. That's right. A sweet kid. <laughs> this is extremely rude from Subaru this entire time, bro. I feel like this is really uncalled for and fucked up. Like, Oto's like, because you're my close friend. Subaru's like, what? Friend? You and me? And then Oto's like, yeah, you helped me all those times. And, you know, you told me all those favors, but I, I really thought that we we're close, Subaru. Subaru's like, <laughs> you and me, friend? Like, where the fuck is this coming from, bro? That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> this is actually fucked up. I don't even think this is funny. Like, this is actually so rude and fucked up for him to laugh at Oto like this while a sentimental soundtrack is playing. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at himself and his own stupidity. I think he's gone crazy. I think he's gone fucking crazy. There it is. Is this our second friend now? 
Oh, Reinhardt is our first friend, I think. Well, I don't know, actually, if that's a friendship, because Super pretty much told Reinhardt to fuck up. But Julius is a really good friend, I think, at this point. Otto, yeah? Otto friend? It, what about the girls? Do we consider Ram a friend? I'm not really sure if we do, right? Do we consider Emilia a friend? Well, Subaru wants to be more than that, but... Al is our Kyodai, that's right. Al is our brother from another planet. Both Isekai characters. Arigato. I don't really know if Reinhardt and Subaru are really friends, but hey, both credit scene. Where's Garfield at? Helper. Patrash. Ram is even more egotistical and narcissistic in season 2, and I fucking love it. <laughs> of course, even as a granny, I still be adorable. True? <laughs> <laughs> That's signature. <laughs> Bro, it's so good. <laughs> so good. Garfield, uh oh. Subaru's gone. <laughs> I'm assuming Ram uh, uh, distracted Garfield here. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know. Because like the timing was too good. Ram can convince Garfield. Garfield realizes Subaru is gone. And now it's versus Garfield to see what we're going to do. And that's today's episode. Today's episode answered a couple questions, right? One of the most important questions I had was, why is Garfield acting differently? Was he at a trial? Okay. Well, why was he acting differently? It's because every time Subaru came out of the witch's graveyard, it's because he looped because the checkpoint is there. It's the unluckiest fucking checkpoint. Is there one more scene? Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> That's it? Of course he can fucking transform. The beast mode scene, of course. We've, we've seen Frederica fucking do it. But the thing of like why he was like changing was the miasma stacking. The more the miasma stacks, the more he becomes suspicious. It's the worst checkpoint ever. He comes out more sus. That's why every timeline, it's literally been changing. That makes a lot of sense. So every, everyone else literally will act the same, but like everyone will literally act the same, but people that can detect Subaru's miasma they have the potential to change courses, so that's something to interesting to keep about. Other than that, and Oto like clutching for us, which is so helpful. This part. What the hell was happening here, man? What the hell was going with Betty? All her actions are so interesting, we'll definitely have to dissect exactly what she was saying. But the most important revelation is that Betty has a fucking gospel. I thought the gospel was specific to the Archbishops of the Witch's Cult. But that may not necessarily be the case. Or maybe Betty simply picked up a gospel. But like, every position of the witch's cult or archbishops is filled except pride. And Subaru took Betrigis' gospel, implying the gospels aren't limited just to the archbishops. Unless Biko is secretly the archbishop of pride, which I highly doubt. There's many gospels, but each gospel seems to Again, have a set of instructions, some sort of guides, right? And Biko has been following this guide the entire time. I don't know exactly why. It's probably because of her pact, her oath, whatever she has. She also mentions mother. Everything I do is for mother. So maybe she has made an oath or something with mother to follow the gospel for whatever reason. And I'm, I, I'm like, what the fuck is mom? Biko is 400 years old. Remember the number 400 is super important, right? And Biko's mom could technically be also Puck's mom too, if we consider the relationship between Puck and Biko to be actually siblings. I know that Biko calls Puck Nichan. I thought that it could be just like a joke or some sort of cute pet name. But like there is definitely possibility because they're both great spirits. But I don't even know how spirits are even born into this world. Are they created? How are they created? What kind of people create spirits? I don't know. So more questions happening. Beatrice's lines about how she 
like the Ningen, Ningen part, right? The human, human, human. A lot of racism going on. I'm not sure if she has had terrible experiences as humans in the past, and that's why she shut herself in here. Maybe that's a reach, but that was a very interesting line. And the line about how, like, don't get ahead of yourself. Like, don't act, don't think, like, you moved me, right? Because everything, she's, she's basically using the gospel as an excuse to say, as if you could ever have moved my heart on your own, I suppose. I think that's Cap. I think that what she was saying in the heat of the moment, most of it was true, but I refuse to believe that Subaru didn't move Biko's heart because we have seen time and time in season one as well, as well as Memory of Snow, moments where Biko I think is definitely been moved by Subaru. I just don't understand this deep sadness of why she stays here, why she does everything for her mom, why she only listens to the gospel, and her inactions has led to everyone fucking dying. Who the fuck knows? And it's the gospel, like, preventing her from doing so. So at the end of the day, it's everything about the gospel. We need more fucking answers about the gospel. But that's pretty much it for me. Today's VIP, sorry, MVP, I think it definitely goes to Otto. Otto clutched and first true friends. Ah, Julius Reinhardt, but Otto, man, what a delight. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.